final factor of fra uh, a polynomial when the coefficient is not 1 can be difficult. There is an easy and trickier way to do it. Um, in this video clip, we're going to show you how to do it. So let's factor 3 out right away because that's a common one. 2x squared plus 11x plus uh, here we have a 5. Okay. Now, in our case, this is not too bad because it's a 2. So if you see it already, the, um, for example, if you already see it, it's 2x um, plus 1 and uh, x plus 5 here. Let's check it. Okay, 2x squared, this is a 10x, and this is 1x, and this is 5. If you already see it, great. If you don't, what I want to do is give you a process of how to, how to do this one in the long run. So no matter what coefficient your teacher gives you, if it's, even if it's not a simple one, you can still do it. All right, let's take a look. So what I want to do is just grab this one down here. We're going to factor this one. Because the right, rest of the stuff is pretty easy. Factor 2x squared plus 11 x plus 5. Okay, This method is called a kind of like a fishing. I think it's because we're going to pretend that we're going to factor something else, like we're going to toss a bait in there. We're going to multiply, we're going to transfer this. This is what this is important. You always want to draw an imaginary box. This is not the one we actually factoring, but it's close to the one we're factoring. What you want to do is grab this coefficient, multiply by the constant. You're going to have x squared plus 11x plus 10. Okay, we're going to factor this one. It's really easy. Plus 1. Okay, and then when it comes out of the box, now this is the second step you need to do. So we're basically tricking the system. Okay, we know the coefficient is not 1, which makes it difficult. So we're going to draw into the box and factor something relo um, close to it. And then when we come out of the box, now this is the important part. Instead of writing x, I'm going to write whatever I had before. I'm going to write 2x plus 10. I'm going to replace all the x. Okay? Replace the x with the ones I want, 2x plus 1. And then I'm going to divide by 2. Okay? You're following that? So if this one had been 3, it would be a 3x, 3x, and I'm going to be divided by 3. So whatever coefficient here, I need to retake care of it. Okay, now simplify here. We have x, 5x. Uh, x plus x plus 5 times 2x plus 1, just like what we had before. Once again, this is the most important step. So when you factor of one that doesn't have a coefficient of 1, multiply coefficient with a constant, make it a coefficient of pretending this is 1. Okay, This is our pretend box. Okay, Once you get into the pretend box, factor as you would normally. And then when you come outside the box, this is the real world again, you're going to get the 2x substituted in there, okay, and divide whatever coefficient that you're trying to compensate and simplify for 5 from there. It works every single time, okay? Have a confident day.